My name is Chef Tom. I've been cooking for 25 years, six years in Europe. I've also cooked in Asia, Mexico, and I'm from the East Coast. There's no reason the home cook can't make delicious meals at home. I've learned all kinds of culinary secrets. These are the real hardcore secrets that people want to know. Now I'll teach them to you. Hey guys, it's Chef Tom from Chef Tom Teaches the World, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my most famous lobster rolls. Now, when it comes to lobster rolls, there's kind of two different uh, two different ways you can do it: uh, the right way and the wrong way. To me, a lobster roll should be nothing but butter, lobster, and toasted bun. But some people like the mayonnaise way. I'm not sure that way. I'm sure there's plenty of videos to show that way, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the lobster and butter roll. So. Here we have uh, a nice, beautiful Maine lobster, and this guy was just bought. It was $2.99 on sale at ShopRite, so I had to get some. So, um, you know, when I deal with these guys, there's a lot of ideas about how you should work with lobsters, and I prefer to kill lobsters before I put them in water. Some people don't, and you know, it's kind of uh, your own preference, but I'm gonna kill the lobster first. And the way you do this, I'm gonna grab the lobster, pick it by its tail, hold it tight, and Right in here, I'm gonna squeeze it and pop that guy out. And the reason I do that is that I don't wanna ruin the shell right here. So now I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna put him in the water for eight, 10 minutes until he's fully cooked. So let's go, let's put him in. All right, so I'm gonna drop this guy in. Eight to 10 minutes. Eight to 10 minutes steaming, that'd be perfect. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, so it's been steaming about eight and a half, nine minutes now. And if you can take a look in here, the guy is totally red. So he's perfect. Now you see there's about two inches of water in. Some people with different aromatics in there. I just like to use plain water. And you can actually save that liquid in there for a lobster fish or something like that. So here's your perfectly steamed lobster. All right guys, so here's our perfectly steamed lobster. Now, if you were just going to eat it, you could have just take it out of the heat and crack for yourself. But I'm gonna make it to lobster rolls and we'll show you a different way how to break this down. Now the first thing I'm gonna do just grab the tail, give it a twist, put the meat here. I'm going to take the claw off, put that there, crack the other guy off. Now here's something um, I was talking about not going through it because when I used to do this in a restaurant, I used lobster bisque. I want the whole head shell on there. So I'm just gonna take the head right there. And actually this stuff inside here is also really good. So if you could do like a lobster bisque, this stuff in here would be uh, fantastic for that. Um, these gills right here, we're just going to get rid of. Actually, I'm going to skip over that. So, take the legs off. Now, this is something that people kind of miss if they're not, uh, don't do lobster lap. So, I'll save this stuff for the bisque. I'll put that right there. All right, so break these down into pieces. You know, you got the claws, you got the little legs, you got the tail here. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is kind of just put this in a cloth the cloth down top of it, kind of stretch it out a little bit and push down. You'll hear it kind of crack. And all you're doing is cracking these little segments in between the lobster. And so this guy comes out beautifully. So this guy goes here. The shells go with the bisque. And another cool thing is these legs. Now these legs are often overlooked. And I'm gonna show you a kind of cool trick to get the meat out of there. What I'm gonna do is I, I couldn't find my rolling pin, so I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna push down and see the meat squirting out the top. You no, know, it's a nice little chunk of meat. Again, that goes for a stock. Again, crack that down, push that up. So that's all the legs. So now we'll move on to the claws. Now the claws, you got the knuckles and you got the claw right here. Now there's a couple things I kind of do to these guys to make it a little bit easier to take the meat out. Um, the first thing I do is you want to take this part of the claw, kind of bend it back until it almost comes all the way out. I twist it down and around. So I just take the feather out. 
so here's the feather that comes out and that little piece stays right there what I want to do is kind of cover up a little bit give it a couple smacks and you just want to take the shell off from around it and so now you've got claw so the knuckles I deal with a little bit differently I just take my tongs and I use those to squeeze and you want to kind of break this the shell up a little bit and you want to definitely take the the meat out so you know a lot of times these are overlooked too but you look at that that's kind of a nice little nugget of meat that you don't want to let go and sometimes if they're a little bit crazy I will take a fork and kind of get in there and pop this up and again kind of be nice take that meat out because it's a nice little chunk I can go to the stockpile and print the same thing on this side so again on this side I'm going to pull this guy back don't want to pull all the way out just want to pull it out to the this part comes out a little bit and then down around and take the feather out so I have so the shell comes out the cloth in there if the cloth doesn't um, comes out it's okay it's gonna taste the same it's just a presentation thing so I'm gonna take this guy again wrap it up in my towel I'm gonna smack that down and I'm gonna gently try to pull this apart again the idea is to try to keep this as whole as possible Needs another smack. Okay. So another smack. The meat's coming out. And we have the piece. Let's take some of the shell off of there. And we will be good. So now we have the two claws and now we're just going to finish up with this knuckle meat here again knuckle meat I'm going to just pull this back a little bit and there's a nice little nugget of meat in there you don't want to lose that Sam on this side it does come out really quick I'm going to put the fork to it and there we go so take that out alright so now We've got our shells we can use for stock a little bit later on. We have our lobster meat right here, and we have the lobster head. Again, I want to use the lobster head for soup or something else, so I, I keep a whole, it'll be a great for it. So now we're gonna start with the next step of actually assembling the roll. So uh, let's get the bread going. All right guys, so now we wanna get the buns done. So. Now again, this is something that different people use different style hot dog buns. Usually I use the Frankfurt rolls because they're top loaded. Uh, but if you can't find that, hot dog rolls will work so fine. These ones I have here are kind of a, a mixture. So if you guys know me from the past, I want to put a, a little bit of butter in there. And what I want to do is kind of get that melted. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to uh, toast the bread. Um, almost like a grilled cheese toast, a lot of butter. Uh, a lot of caramelization on it and make them look pretty uh, pretty awesome one thing I did on this guy was I actually just cut it a little bit uh, to make it look more like a frank roll but you know you don't have to do that either All right, and here you go. Here's a perfectly toasted roll. Put that down there. Preparing the meat. So 
If you're doing this for a group of people, one thing I recommend is that you do this in advance. You'll probably do this a day in advance, maybe two days in advance max. But you want to take your lobster out. And you know, I just want to kind of cut it into bite-sized pieces. I mean, so my gosh, that beautiful claw, it's now gone. Yeah, but it's still gonna taste awesome. So I'm gonna take my meat, put it in my bowl, and now it's time for the butter. So I have a little bit of melted butter, a little bit, I say. What we wanna do is just make sure lobster meat gets nice and hot. Of course, and all that butter. You know, I find there's really no need to put salt in it because the lobster has plenty of salt in already and the butter is going to be uh, delicious. So look at that. How good is that? Like I could just eat it like that. That's why I'm a big guy. Uh, maybe you like that too. <laughs> I don't know. So it's nice and hot now. So I'm going to take this back and so I'm going to start putting the lobster inside the rolls. And again, you can see I'm not like uh, shy. I'm not shy at all on a lobster. You know, this is just, um, this is just one lobster. So you could probably make three or four uh, regular or maybe two chef Tom size lobster rolls and you'd be uh, perfectly all set to go. So I'm gonna finish putting the meat on these guys and, and I will finish it with some french fries. All right guys, so how does that look for you? Okay guys, so there you have it. So in this episode, I showed you how to cook a lobster. You know, steam lobster, eight to 10 minutes, two inches of water. I personally don't season it because I'm used for something else. I could probably turn a lobster bisque, which I have all the stuff for right here to do it now. I showed you how to take the lobster meat out of legs, which I think was a really cool technique. I, it took me, I don't know, a lot of chefs, uh, only one chef showing that technique. I don't see it very often. Yeah, I showed you how to take meat out of knuckles and a cool technique with the claws and the hot dog buns, we, we uh, buttered them up, nice golden brown edges, and that's your lobster roll. So, if you like what you see, subscribe below, uh, cheftom.com, thank you very much, see you next time, and if you wanna see me teach you how to cook anything, let me know. Ciao, have a great day.